So everybody should have that message now. You are in room one with creating engaging lessons with Discovery Ed. Uh, Nikita and Renee are gonna take you through the amazing next 50 minutes. Um, so I'm gonna step out of their way so they can get going. Thank you so much, Nikita and Renee, for being here with us. And um, I will take myself into mute mode and let you have a great time. All right, good morning, Tracy and Stacy. Well, Stacy, looks like Tracy dropped. Um, so Stacy, good morning and welcome to Creating Lessons with Discovery Education. Again, if you have not done so already, would you please switch your uh, find your chat feature and go ahead and select everyone in the chat room so that everyone can see your wonderful comments or questions and be able to answer them as we move along today. I am really excited to be here with you, Stacey. And at any point, because it is such a small number, you are welcome to come off mute, ask your questions, stop me, be engaging. Um, but my name is Nikita Thomas. I'm the Nevada Manager of Learning Innovations. I am a former elementary educator, elementary administrator, middle school administrator, and then district office. Um, administrator. I am very excited to be with Discovery Education for a little bit over a year, um, ever since the beginning of the partnership as the manager of learning innovations. And that's really just a fancy name for I support um, all K-12 public and K-12 public schools in the state of Nevada with the implementation of Discovery Education Experience. I am very fortunate to have my wonderful colleague here with me today, Renee, and I'll go ahead and have Renee introduce herself, Stacey. Good Renee, morning. Sorry, sorry, Renee, just to jump in. Um, I just got a notice that came in that they're running behind on the opening. So oh, that might be why we're missing people. So I didn't got want it. to, do. I'll start letting others in as I see them, but okay. I want you both to know. Sorry, no didn't mean to interrupt Renee's introduction. <laughs> no problem. And it looks like we have a few coming in. So maybe we'll wait just a moment, Nikita. Yeah, that's why I was about to say, maybe give them a, see Dave, I said 940. <laughs> you knew, you knew my friend, you knew, you're, you're a mind reader. So yeah, we can give them a few minutes. I'm gonna go back, Dave, just to the opening slide and kind of start over because it looks like we're getting quite a few. Welcome, as you guys are entering, would you please go ahead and change, find the chat feature, change it. I think it automatically comes up as like a panelist and host. If you'll change that to everyone, I don't know where my voice, I think is cooling off in Vegas, but um, if you change it to everyone so that we'll all see like your questions and comments and anyway, please let us know your uh, role and that you're joining us from this morning. So welcome. Hi, welcome my lots of Clark County educators in the chat. If you're entering, if you would, please go ahead and put your name, I see your names and your role and the district that you're joining us from. Just so as you're uh, speaking in the chat, we'll know how to address your question, as well as making sure that in the chat feature, you change it from all panelists and hosts to everyone so that we can all see your um, wonderful questions and comments that you make throughout our session. Probably want to give it about one more minute, you think, Renee? You think maybe we could give it 
I well, think 30 seconds or so would be good, yes. Welcome, lots of Clark County educators this morning. Welcome again, thank you all for entering your role and the district that you're joining us from this morning. So we're gonna go ahead and get started in about 10 seconds. Welcome, Elko educator. Thank you for joining us. So I think our doorbells have slowed down a little bit. So we'll go ahead and get started. I'm gonna exit out of the chat. So just to quickly start again, welcome this morning to creating engaging lessons with Discovery Education. Just a reminder, if you'll go ahead and make sure that you select everyone in the chat room so that we can all engage and be a part of our session today. My name, um, for those of you that weren't on, my name is Nikita Thomas. I'm the Nevada Manager of Learning Innovations. I live in um, Clark County, so I live in Las Vegas, Nevada, but my role is to support all K-12 public and K-12 public charter schools with the implementation of Discovery Education. I am a former educator, former administrator, just really excited to be um, with Discovery Education in this great partnership with uh, the state of Nevada. Um, with me today is my colleague, Renee, and I'll go ahead and um, have Renee introduce herself so we can get started. Good morning, everyone, and welcome. My name is Renee Cartier, and I serve as Senior Director for Learning Innovations and Partnerships. And my role is really to ensure that Nikita has everything that she needs to support you, your district leaders, your students, and your families with this wonderful partnership and implementation of Discovery Education. So welcome. Thank you, Renee. So for those of you that may not have um, attended any of our Discovery Education professional learning sessions, I just want to let you know that the way Discovery Education came about in the state of Nevada, we partnered with the Nevada Department of Education, along with Nevada Gold Mines to bring you this great two-year partnership, which again has um, is being extended to a third year. We are currently in year two, and it provides Discovery Education experience to all K-12 public and all K-12 public charter educators and students. So just take a minute in the chat, if you would, what does discovery education mean to you? When you think of discovery education, what does that mean to you? Go ahead and drop in the chat what discovery education, well, here I am, I'm dropping in the chat what discovery education means to you. When you think of discovery, if you have books, okay, great, Amanda, videos, accessibility to many resources, very true inquiry, supplemental resources, right? Very educated. So lots. And so it really looks like mostly everybody in our webinar today has had some exposure to discovery education. While you're dropping that, would you, if you're very familiar with discovery education, go ahead and put a three, which means you've gone in, you've used it for yourself, you've used it with your students. Um, drop a three. If you go ahead and put a and if, you know, I've gone in, I'm a little bit familiar with it, but I need to spend some more time. And then a one, if I've seen Discovery Education, but I have not used it for myself or with the kids. So lots of threes, here's some ones. So really today, I'm going to give you a brief overview of Discovery Education, and then we're going to dive into how um, Discovery Education really can be used to create engaging lessons. So I'm going to go ahead and exit the chat and Renee will be monitoring. So discovery education really should be thought of as your daily learning platform. When you think of discovery education, when we want it to be almost like your one-stop shop for like great resources, great videos, all types of resources with filters, where you can organize channels and really personalize instruction for your students. 
So now as we're going into discovery education, I really want you to think about, you know what, discovery education is my daily learning platform, which I can use inside of the classroom as well as for those students that may be home for any reason, you can also use discovery education to make sure that learning isn't interrupted for those kids. So if you take a minute and look on the screen, the mission and vision of Discovery Education is there. And basically our mission is to make sure that all learners are prepared. And the way that we're gonna do that or the way that we do that is we make sure that we provide resources to you, the educators, to provide innovative classrooms for your students. So we also wanna make sure that everything is connected to today's world. So we're not teaching in isolation you're really being able to bring today's world into your classroom. And then the vision is as a trusted leader in education, we love to empower you, our educators, so that you can create and inspire students throughout the world, again, using high quality digital content that's delivered on our best in-class platforms, your daily learning platform. All right, so just in case you have not logged on before, Discovery Education does integrate in your current classroom and remote teaching. We integrate with Teams, Google Classroom, Clever, Schoology, Canvas, and many more. If you're not quite sure how you sign into Discovery Education, go ahead and take a picture of the slide or jot down the 800 number and call customer support and technical support. In Clark County, I know you guys access um, Discovery Education through Clever. It's single sign-on where once the kids have signed into, into Clever, they just select the Discovery Education icon. It's the same thing in Douglas County with Classly and really anywhere else that you use single sign-on, you just sign in and click on the Discovery Education link. So let's start with your Getting Started Communications Kit. So we have a wonderful communications kit that's there for educators and, as well as instructional leaders. Let me move my, that, what that communications kit does for you, it really gives you resources of how to get started with Discovery Education. Oh, you know, very quick, Renee is going to drop in the chat the address to the direct address to our resource or communications kit of how to get started. You have content specific resources in that communications kit, as well as highlights. For Join the meeting. I'm not sure what that was, but highlights as to um, what's new, what's coming. So I like to think of this as almost like your um, communication center for everything discovery. There are things there that can be shared out to parents, to educators. Again, so your communications kit is basically exactly what it says. So discovery education, again, is your daily learning platform. I am going to go off camera because once I go into Discovery Education, I don't want it to slow us down since we are going to be limited on time. So I'll go off video to make sure that we get the best broadband possible. So welcome to Discovery Education. Again, your, learn, your daily learning platform, which means you can use it every day inside your classroom, as well as supporting students outside of the classroom. This is your home page, which you can totally personalize for you and your instruction. There are lots of different things that can be done with the home page. When I say personalization, it's very important at the top where you see your initials. You're able to click into your profile where I would view, view profile and go quickly into personalization. This is where we get all information as a company that we know how to push information out to you. Like what grade levels are you interested in, your subjects and more interests. Once you personalize this, you're gonna go ahead and click save. And so that way, again, we know that your um, profile is personalized for you, which means that what, as we go through the roles, you'll see where we use that information. Anytime that you're in the Discovery Education platform and you want to go back to the home page, you can click the de-earth and it will take you directly back to your home page.
So let's take a look again. You'll notice across the top, you have different tiles which outline my classrooms, my content, the new quiz, studio, assessment builder, browse subjects where you can search by subject, also browse standards and educator supports. Today, we're strictly going to be focusing on how can you create these engaging lessons. So while we have many courses or many webinars that walk you through how to get started with discovery education, and I encourage you to kind of look at the calendar that um, what's Renee dropped that communications link in there, and you'll know when those um, webinars are offered. So I want to scroll down. You'll notice just for you. This again is at personalized content recommendations. So where you personalize in your profile, this is where a lot of that information goes, like the things that you created or set up as your interests, your grade levels. So Discovery Education has taken this and personalized this area just for you. DE staff picks, again, this is timely and relevant resources that are handpicked by our experts. With the experts, they think it's October or they know, and this is what most educators across the country or in the internationally are using this time of the year. So anything new and timely that's relevant, you're going to find that in the DE staff picks. And then my channels. My channels is a collection of content. This is the most important content to you. So again, these, this is where you would save your favorite discovery education channels and keep them accessible and handy to you. So you'll notice some of the channels I have on my homepage, student learning activities, um, the SOS instructional strategies, and we'll talk about that more. You notice I have lots of math content, and that's really because I've customized my homepage you know, specifically for today, but all of the uh, channels that I place. Sometimes when you your first time signing into Discovery Education, channels will be there, but you have the ability to remove those channels from your homepage. For me today, when I speak of personalization, I'm gonna go up and click edit homepage layout because we'll be dealing with my channels a lot. So rather than me having to go back and forth or scroll to the bottom, I'm gonna go ahead and put my channels at the top and click done. And then the personalization with my channels becomes there. Remember you can organize channels, move your channels, which I just did to the top. But first, or before we go any further, I want to show you how we could search either by an open search, subject search, or standard search. So if I'm going in thinking I'm going to create a lesson, and today I want to browse by subject. So I'm searching by subject. You'll notice all subjects are divided, science, social studies, English language arts, math, health. So all of your subjects, it tells you like what's trending in each subject, meaning that again, what are the resources that other educators across the nation are using in science? So those top resources. How about your language arts, mathematics? So all of your social studies, health. So the first thing that you're going to notice when you search by subject, again, is what's trending. So just taking a look at what's trending across the country in the different content areas. You can select from there, browse through, because it's not limited to just the four tiles that you see. You could definitely browse through and see them all. And remember that what's trending, again, is what's trending in discovery education experience from other educators. So now I do want to create, or I showed you, looks like my mouse has a mind of its own right now. So while my mouse is deciding to come back, let me open my. Go ahead, while we're waiting in the chat, if you would drop in as I was scrolling through, have you had the opportunity to search by subject or even to just do an open search using DEX? And I will figure out why my mouse is no longer connected and just use the laptop open it up and use it 
laptop itself. All right. So and it, come it does look like we're seeing some uh, searches by subject, most definitely, which is great. Okay, Renee, does my screen still look the same? Yes, I see the channels. Okay, I'm not sure what's going on with my mouse, but we're not gonna let that stop us because we wanna be, there it is. Very temperamental, right? And I'm sure you guys totally understand that because you talked through Zoom for a whole year. So, you know, kudos to you guys again. So with your subject. So now I do want to um, go ahead and create or do an open-ended search. But before I do that search, I'm going to go back to my homepage, just so we always start for me at the homepage by clicking D Earth. So if I want to have an open-ended search, I'm going to click into the search bar and click the blue arrow. This automatically brings up all of the resources that are in Discovery Education Experience available to you. You'll notice as of today, we have over 191,000 resources that can be divided by topic, language, details, copyright, publisher, reading level, and Lexile score. But really for the sake of time today, I wanna to focus on what's across the top, the type again of resources, which are divided by videos, interactives, activities, channels, images, text, audio, educative support, and other materials. Right now, I'm going to change it, select the subject, probably go ahead and select an ELA. So I really want to focus on just English language arts and audio. So you'll notice all of the audio books that are available through ELA with audio. I could, again, filter even further by saying I really want to only focus on audio books and go ahead and click audio books and it immediately pulls up the audio books. So I'm taking a look at the short stories of Edgar Allan Poe, Johnny Appleseed. How about the Fable Cottage, Chicken Little? So if I click on the Fable Cottage of Chicken Little and see this is a full audio book, go into the audio book, you'll notice again with the audio books, I can add this to my quick list. I could assign it directly to my students, add it to my content, or create with Studio, which we'll talk about. I could print this or share it directly to my students. Because I'm planning an engaging lesson, I'm going to go ahead and just add that to my quick list and go back to my audiobook search where I was. So I've added Chicken Little to my quick list. I also think I may want to focus a little bit on this week, maybe Edgar Allan Poe. Since I, so we see here, Edgar Allan Poe, I'm gonna add that to my quick list. Here's another Edgar Allan Poe, I'm gonna add that to my quick list. Notice how I'm adding to my quick list. I'm clicking on the three dots. My mouse will not let me be great today. I'm gonna open, if you guys see it's stuck on that. I'm going to open my laptop again so that I can only focus on Empress. Oh, it comes back with that. So I'm going to make sure that all these are added to my quick list. Once I scroll back up to the top to access my quick list, you'll notice the four at the top right. If I click into it, here are the things that I've added to my quick list. I've decided, you know what, I really today don't want to focus on Chicken Little. So I'm going to remove Chicken Little from my, so I'm going to go ahead and remove it from my quick list. But every, the two Edgar Allan Poe's that I have there, I'm going to go up to the top and go ahead and add this to my content. So this is almost me beginning to create a lesson or maybe even a, a series of lessons. So I'm going to add a new folder. We'll call this Edgar Allan Poe. Hopefully it's not correct. Add the folder. And into that folder, now I'm going to add to my content into the Edgar Allan Poe folder. So and you'll notice when I go, when we go back to the home page, 
it's almost when you guys think of creating a unit, you can put everything to your quick list, add it to my content. And then for me, I'm going to remove all of these from my quick list so that my quick list remains something that I'm utilizing to make sure that I'm gathering the content quickly and I have an opportunity to go through it and then create folders in my content. So I do want to go back and say, I know I am moving rather quickly. I'm getting ready to show you some tools that you'll be able to go back to. So I always like to say, remember how we say, remember, you'll probably remember about 10% of what I say today, but I'm also going to give you resources where you'll be able to go back and kind of walk through as well as this is being recorded. But you'll walk away with resources of knowing where do I go when I don't remember necessarily what um, Nikita said. So remember, the quick list is where you curate your small batches, and then you can move those to my content to create like numerous lessons or even a unit. So again, quickly adding them and then being able to create a unit. I want, I'm going to go out, back out to the PowerPoint so we can talk about some of the instructional strategies that we're going to um, talk about in just a little. My, okay. So the instructional strategies that we're going to talk about, again, there's over 120 instructional strategies that you can utilize in your classroom. The instructional strategies that we're about to go over, I'm going to resume, share. This is one of them. Did you hear that? So I want you to listen to each sound effect. And then in the chat, go ahead and drop in what you hear. So here's the first one. Now, can you identify which one is a farm, which one is a marsh, which one is a jungle? And then think about it for a minute. What clues help you make that decision? So just think about was number one, a farm, a marsh or a jungle. So you would have your kids like listen to certain things and ask, did you hear that? Let's go on to the next instructional very temperamental today. They said what? Take a minute and look at the image on the screen. What do you see in this image? Drop it in the chat. What do you see? As you're looking at the image, what do you know about what you see? And this can be done with any image. And then what do you still wonder? So you're able to create and fill in thought bubbles for a conversation between characters. So when you're talking about, you know, what do you still wonder, whether you're wondering something about where the number four is. So again, you really want the kids to use visual literacy and begin to look and say, you know, I see, you know, and they'll give guesses like you guys did of what you see. What do you know about it? And then what do you what do you still wonder? The last um, strategy that I want to show you today is the AEIOU strategy. As you're looking at the image that I'm about to show in the chat, if you will go ahead and drop an adjective for how you know to describe what you see, an emotion or how you feel, I you know what made that interesting. Oh, something you did not know, or um, I need to learn more. The north of Japan is characterized by its vast wilderness. A distinct beauty with a landscape strikingly different from that of any other place in Japan. The north is perceived as remote and even strange. A faraway place outside the normal sphere of Japanese life. Cold 
cold winds from Siberia blow across the Sea of Japan, resulting in one of the highest average snowfalls in the world. This harshly chilly climate is the unlikely home of the Japanese macaque. Also known as the snow monkey, these hardy creatures are the only other primate besides humans to live as far north on Earth as this. They survive temperatures below five degrees Fahrenheit and take refuge from the cold winter in natural volcanic hot springs. Macaques have an average lifespan of 30 years and are very sociable, living in troops of 20 to 100. All right, so you can stop it at any point for the kids and just ask them to please drop, you know, an, an adjective to describe something. Again, or your emotions. What's something that you said? Mm. Like for me, I would almost put, I didn't know the average lifespan, right? So they get to choose like, or you could be very specific in what you want them to focus on in the AEIOU. Again, out loud, you would just be having the kids to um, say those things out loud or report out loud. Or if you were having a virtual class or virtual lesson, you would be able to have them drop it into the chat. So with that being said, I want to go back to the earth so you can see some of the great supports for these resources, again, that are available to you. I clicked on the deep earth. I talked about the tiles up top. But when speaking of engaging lessons, I'm going to go ahead and go into educator supports. So with your educator supports, you'll notice that's a tile that's very specific just to support you as educators. Across the top, you have your home. As I scroll down, the first thing you'll see getting started. Again, everything that you need to know of how to get started using Discovery Education Experience. If you walk away with nothing that I say today, remember the educator support tab has all the support that you need where you can pace out learning how do I create these engaging lessons? What am I able to use? So you have your home, you're getting started again and getting started when you look across the top. Getting started gives you step-by-step -step guides for things like professional learning. How do I assign or share to students? Access ready to use lessons. So those easy grab and go lessons that have been created for you, which I'm going to show you how to access those, access those as well, but you'll notice those step-by-step -step guides are available to you. So again, very user-friendly, walk you through step-by-step -step how to utilize certain things to get started using Discovery Education, as well as those interactive courses that you can utilize or access on demand for you to be able to know what's new with Discovery Ed, discover resources, engage students. So this really helps you maximize the digital, digital resources that are in your classroom. These interactive courses are your journey. They're very timely. You can pace them out and really self-pace how you um, go through this uh, individualized learning, really. And then again, this is more for instructional leaders with your learning management system, more step-by-step -step guides. So that's some of, the, some of the great things in getting started. I almost think every educator on here, when I click into timely resources, I'm going to say, you can thank me later. But I'm going to go into timely resources. So remember, we're in educator support, but now timely resources. In these in timely resources, you could click to join an event. That's where you'll see the schedule of national webinars, as well as any archived webinars that are recorded for you. Also, your help center. But then take a look. October timely resources. So I know when I was in the classroom and I've heard from many, many, many educators that they love this because these are student learning activities. They're instructional activities that are ready made. Nothing but ready made lessons in those October timely resources. You could look at this month at DE where you explore all the exciting resources. So I'll even go into this slideshow, which opens up into Studio Board. 
anytime you find a lesson that you like in Studio Board, you could browse it or see what's in there by, oh, okay, here's your table of contents. So you could look at all slides or you could just scroll through them. Timely content. So what about poetry, celebrating Hispanic heritage? as well as STEM careers. So again, it's giving you timely content to share or assign to your students. If you decide, I really like this slideshow, you could choose to copy the slideshow. If you cop copy the slideshow, then you can go in and edit it and create it very specific for your students. If you decide, I really like it, you know, the way it is, then you also have the option, I'm moving on my things around so I can see. You also have the option, again, to go back, but you'll notice, again, with copying, once I say you can edit, you can insert things from Discovery Education. Remember that My Content folder, you can also insert into this slideshow things from My Content, from My Quick List. How many of you guys love taking slideshows saving things to your device, and then being able to upload those resources from your device into our slideshow. So it's really saying all the resources that you have are really important and can assist you with creating that engaging lesson for your kids. Text button quiz items. So the new feature that we talked about with the quiz items, you can input a quiz, whether it's short answer, multiple choice, multiple select, or block. So you really get to customize this slideshow after you've copied it, as well as make teacher notes. So some of the slideshows have teacher notes already to the side, but you still have the ability to add more notes for yourself. Again, incorporating all of the great resources that you have, into our um, slideshow and really making it your own for your students. I'm gonna go back to, to our timely content, the timely resources, because I showed, I see, it's gonna make me, I showed you the slideshow. Sorry guys, my computer is being very temperamental today, but again, we're gonna keep moving. Once I go back into, it's kicking me out of everything, into educator support, in those timely resources, we have a board of activity calendar. These activity calendars are divided into K2, 3, 5, and 6, 8. So I'm going to go ahead and just go into the activity calendar for K2. It's split up daily. You'll notice day one, day four, or October 4th, 5th. Talk about grab and go, easily accessible for you. In the chat, drop for me, if once you walk away, how would you get back to this activity calendar? How did I get here? Does anybody remember? I want to see what they're saying in the chat. Uh-oh, I know some of you. You're thinking, Nikita. Oh, no. That's why I just said, I know somebody knows. Remember that tab that I said when we walk away, if you don't remember educational resources. So I went to educator support. And once I got to educator support, good, Stacy. So I went to educator support. So I'll back up and go back out from educator support. I clicked on educator resources. In educator resources, I went under timely resources. And remember, in those timely resources, you have the ability to join an event, look at archived webinars, click on all these wonderful activity calendars that will be available to you by month. So not just October, every month, you'll be able to find these activity calendars where you can click on the day and just, so when I tell educators, you know what? I really like to think of discovery education almost like our cheesecake menu fact, <laughs> you know? There's so many great things there. And sometimes it's hard to find as many great things. So what discovery education has done is thought, how can educators utilize some of these boards daily with allowing their kids to go in? And that's why those activity calendars are there. 
really allowing you to explore some ready to use timely activities for your students. Community favorites, whenever you see community, that's going to be our DEN community, which is the Discovery Education Network. It's other educators across the country, across the world that are using Discovery Education Network, giving you tips and inspiring you about ways that they've used um, Discovery Education experience. And then it's also broken down by grade level, as well as subject specific. So you'll notice we have grade level, subject specific, our corporate partners. So who are some of our corporate partners and what are we doing for just say here, getting started, discovery education and Microsoft, science at home. You'll notice that we partner with AT&T. So here, because I know I'm not subscribed to this channel, as a wrap up, I'm gonna go ahead and click here into the channel so that I can show you where you can subscribe. So up at the top right, anytime you see this little, I call it a flag, you click subscribe and then I'll go back and show you how that's on my homepage, how that then showed up on my homepage. So I know we got started a little late. We have about four minutes. I wanna make sure you understand everything that's in your educator support tab. Because once you walk away today, I encourage you to come back to the educator support tab and play around because you have lots of support that's broken down by subject, by grade level. Again, what are other educators in the nation and world saying about discovery education and what's useful? You know, as I go back to finish going your hot topics, so if you click into hot topics, this really our English language learner center, social emotional learning. Again, your hot topics are also divided by subject. So you're able to really look at some of the resources that Discovery Education features, and then we support you with what's trending. So you'll see all of your hot topics. So not Wendy Williams hot topics, if you guys want, but really what's in Discovery Education that's really trending and helping other educators support their students. So from hot topics, remember I played those strategies or we had those strategies. If you click into instructional strategies, all 120 are here and they're divided by instructional content, um, instructional intent. So if I wanna teach summarizing, there's a channel with all the SOS strategies that educators recommend for teaching summarizing, as well as questioning, instructional hook. All of our SOS strategies include videos for students where the student, you can assign the video to the students where they learn what does this strategy look like? So all of your SOS student learning, your top 10. So again, we listen to educators and love your feedback. So what are some of the top 10 things that other educators are saying? So they're boards and they're broken down by subject. So your top 10 for English, your top 10 social emotional learning, your top 10 for social studies. So again, they're broken down by subject and it gives you the top 10. And then of course, our most popular SOS strategies. In the chat, look, Georgina, I just see your face on my camera. So I would say in the chat, would you drop in? How do we find out what are the most popular SOS strategies for teachers? Do we just pull it? How do we figure out what's the most popular SOS track? Anybody in the chat can drop it. Because remember I said, we listen to all educators with figuring out what's working well for you in your classroom. The other tab, professional learning. Again, those self-paced community articles. This is an area that you can go to and learn on demand. It's all your time and what you need to be proficient or feel comfortable in discovery education experience. So if you scroll down, this is truly what it is, different modules for e-learning that's designed for you. So whenever you see the professional learning, it really is about you learning, how can I best for my kids, oh, I'm see, I, had, I thought my computer had stopped sharing. How would I best access and utilize discovery education experience for my kids. And then there's also a discovery education um, instructional leaders where instructional leaders, administrators are able to go in to 
um, and, and find support. So I'm gonna go back to the D Earth just to quickly um, talk about or show you some of the really great templates that we now have available in studio. Now, keeping in mind that if you're just starting out, because I do remember there were lots of ones in there, you do have those ready-made grab-and-go lessons that you can just grab, assign to your students, teach them whole group, or customize them as you like. If I click into studio, this is going to be anything that I've created, anything that has been shared with me, something that I've assigned. So this is where you can really get creative for those threes by clicking create new. Discovery Education has some great things now out there. Look at those activity templates. So you may be starting out new by being able to input your resources, select the videos, select, but you're not necessarily starting from scratch. We have the SOS instructional strategies templates available to you. So you get to select and say, I really want to teach. I showed AEIOU. I really want to use that strategy in my lesson. Then it automatically gives me a template. With that template, you go ahead and build this activity out. With building that activity out, you're able then to add your title. But look at the left-hand side, all the teacher notes that you need to build this template. So once you've built the template the way you want it, you could type, you could have the kids, you could delete things, you could check really again, customizing what it is that and how you wanna use it in your classroom. So remember, you can select to add, this is where you add, this is where you customize, and then this is your teacher notes that I showed you all on the left-hand side. I do wanna go back because I wanna make sure I'm showing, you can copy this link and input it into Canvas or input it into your Google Classroom. So, and it gives you, again, all of your skills. Cites evidence, inference, predict. So it's telling you what you're teaching when you're using this AEIOU strategy, as well as what you can import into this activity. It can be used with videos, images, audio, and reading passages. Now, with the time that we have left, I want to show you our, again, brand new quiz feature. Educators in Clark County have found it because I've gotten lots of reports um, that you're utilizing it. Educators across the state of Nevada have found the quiz feature and utilizing it. If I click into quiz, and we have about two minutes, I have a quiz that's already made. So like the check for understanding. I made that quiz already. My results, of course, they won't be here because I, if you look, it says times you, so no student has taken it. And then my quizzes. Most important, I could create a new quiz up to the right. This quiz can be used to, I could build a new quiz or I could ask live questions. So when you're talking about engaging students, with these digital, your daily digital learning platform, I could ask live questions where if I decided you guys would, I would click into ask live questions, I would ask you the questions and you could have the students either to respond live, verbal, or they could even respond and I could see the responses immediately. So as we're uh, finishing up, you guys are probably logged in as your so if you're logged in as a teacher, I would only want guest participants, but I could name this activity your exit ticket. And if I click launch, once you get into like my quiz, I do want you, Renee, would, I'm going to copy the link into chat. Once I copy this link into chat, as you're leaving, Go ahead in the quiz and just put one thing that you're excited about walking away and trying with your kids. So there's your link. You would be able to put your responses would be one thing that you're, you could put it in the chat. One thing that you're excited about trying. I see a student has joined. A student has joined. Thank you. So you guys are joining. So go ahead and your exit ticket for leaving would be to please
one thing you're excited about sharing. You guys have been great. I know we were short a couple of minutes um, because the keynote ran over, but if I wanted to be late for anybody, how exciting to hear those kids speak about their experiences. If you have any questions, Renee is gonna put into the um, chat my email and a couple of uh, the calendar of events from here to December for the state of Nevada. I encourage you to keep those email me anytime and join me on a webinar that's available to all educators in the state of Nevada. Thank you again very much for being a part of the Discovery Education Experience, creating engaging content, and I absolutely look forward to working with all of you. Thank you, Nikita. Thanks, everybody. The next session is at 1030. Enjoy. Nikki, we can't take the test unless you unlock it. Oh, sorry. Look, <laughs> I was too busy talking. So uh, student devices. There you go. But mostly everybody on. But if you want to, you can continue because I'll see them. I'll still see your responses. Bye, Georgina. Thank you.